My hair is not here for the party. Shysta. Okay, let's say hey guys. Stop it. <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready? Ooh, Fippa, get out of here. Get on my level. <laughs> hey guys, you hear that? Intonation. No. Oh. Today we are going to do what the title says, and that is show you guys some dupes. And we're gonna get right into it. There's it's also no, no pants Tuesday. It so is no pants for that. Tuesday. Let us know if you're wearing skirts or dresses or just Sub no pants. Subscribe, and we're having giveaways. You can check below for the info on yeah. the giveaways. And we're gonna we're just going. First things first is primer. Ooh, every good foundation starts. Try not to have a squeaky voice in this. Okay. Every good foundation starts with a primer. Did somebody yes. complain about my voice? I'm talking about both of us. We're really shrill. But did somebody complain about it? Let's try. Let's try okay, to do but some did somebody video. complain People about it? People do complain about it. So let's just keep our voices down here. Okay. Okay. So I'm really gonna try. I yeah. really want to know why I sound so shrill. Okay. Shrill. <laughs> Literally, I just want to know. Okay. Shrill. This one is Smashbox, and it is the photo finish. And on Pinterest. Pinterest. I saw that Maybelline Baby Skin is supposed to be a dupe. Okay, I got way more than I need on for think, half of my face. I think it gives me like benefit vibes or something. Right is high end, left, left is, is low, low end. end. All right, they're both clear. So. Yeah, both clear. Oh, it's got that hot powdery Ooh. feel. I don't get the hot, but I get the powdery. Oh, so powdery. I love the powdery feel because do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. It's really getting into those pores and filling them up. See, I feel like it's clogging, drying them. my skin out. I don't think it's gonna stop. The universe does not want us to film videos today. Okay, so I'm gonna put Maybelline Baby Skin over here on the left. Smashbox on the right. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Right off the bat. Hold on, I just wanna take a second. I, I wanna take a second to a just second. realize that we are trying to change the way that we talk because of people being ugly. I am actually just doing an experiment. Well. The experiment is A, do you like it when we talk lower? And B, can I talk lower? Okay, the Maybelline has a greasy and powdery feel at the same time. Smashbox just feels powdery, but Maybelline no. feels greasy. Smashbox feels greasy. Uh-uh. I think they're both greasy and powdery. I, I can't, oh, I smeared my eyebrow. <laughs> Normally I would have gone up with that and really tickled myself. <laughs> oh God, you smeared my oh, eyebrow. I smeared my eyebrow. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes it takes a toll when people criticize everything about you. Constantly. It's like, why are you watching? Are you hate watching us? <laughs> if you didn't know, we also have an online boutique that we opened in the beginning of September. On a positive note. Yeah. This is from there. This is a dress. And it's a tunic. <laughs> tunic, I stinking love it. It's really cute. Really cute with legging. Once they get on there, they basically feel the same. The only thing is when I do this, this is Smashbox and this is the baby skin, I feel like baby skin is taking longer to set. It has not super set yet. Yeah. Maybe it's because I put too much on that side, but I think they're kind of dupes. I mean, I think the, the consistency and stuff is very, very similar. Yeah. I think if you're interested in checking out primers, go for the baby skin first. Yes. Especially to like check out the texture and consistency and stuff, because you might hate it, because I kind of don't like it. The next item we're gonna be seeing if it's a dupe or a don't is the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer against the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. You can put these under your eye, because it says put it under your eye. And this is in the color Fair, and this one's also in the color Fair. Oh. <laughs> That one looks like it might be better. This is high end. Oh gosh, on the right, right, on the right. right. It's kind of sticky. Oh, that's a lot actually. Oh my goodness, a little goes a long way. Isn't that kind of sticky? Yes, it's thick. It's a little thick. Let's try the other one. So far, the master conceal doesn't seem as thick. Or it's light, and it's also kind of yellowy. And I flipped my sponge over so that it's like different. I think it's as light. You think it's as light? Yeah. Yeah. I like guess it's just a slight tone difference. I'm being honest. I like the Maybelline more. Yeah. It's easier to work with. I find that when concealers get too heavy, like too thick, they want to take off your makeup underneath. Yeah. Whoa, brightness. What do we think about that? I don't think they're quite dupes, but I feel like you could get a similar vibe. They're vibing, they're just not the same. Yeah, I think I like the Maybelline better. So, we just did our eyeshadow really quick so we could do mascara. This is Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam versus Too Faced Better Than Sex. 
These are supposed to be dupes. I think I saw that the brushes were similar. Yeah, the brushes look really similar. The Rimmel one looks like they are thicker bristles and it's kind of fatter and more twisted, but they do have a similar shape. Hey, don't get it twisted. It's already twisted. High end on the right. Low end on the left. It doesn't feel like it's getting product on the brush. These don't, this one doesn't feel like it has a lot of product either. Interesting. Is this a fiber mascara? I don't know, but you know what I didn't realize? What? That this is like the kind of brush I like and I've never like- Tried it? I've tried it, but I've never given it a good chance. Yeah. I haven't liked a Rimmel mascara in a minute. Rimmel sexy curves? In a minute. Oh. That was like OG YouTube. I'm not mad at this. I do feel like I got some serious lashes going on. Right? Holy balls. Oh, your hair just never look that big. Right? But I'm like just touch it, go up. No, I don't want to. Yeah, the wand is so heavy on Too Faced. Okay, already I'm feeling a similar application. Yeah. It's very like light, like you don't feel it touch your lashes. Yeah. I can see why you thought fiber. Are there fibers on this one? I don't know. It looks like little pieces around my lashes. I'm having a little bit more difficulty with this one. It's like trying to clump a little bit. Like I kind of feel like the, the Too Faced gave me a little bit more volume and definition. I feel like the Rimmel's trying to be a little clumpy, but I also feel like very lengthened yeah. on the Rimmel. I don't know, man. They're similar. The application felt similar with the brush. I think it kind it's of a is a dupe. dupe. It's, it's the dupe city. Yeah, dupe, dupe city. Dupe city. Okay, so we're gonna try NYX Apricot against Tarte Tipsy, which is a really fun, like, orangey, really pretty blush. On the hand, Tipsy looks a little bit more darker and a little more orangey tone, but it might translate differently on the face. Left, lower end. Ooh, I really like this NYX apricot. This color's pretty, I'm not mad at that. Pretty. Yeah. Try it with me. I'm excited to see if they look the same. Hmm. They're not terribly different. I think they're dupes. I feel like, even if it's not like an exact dupe, it's like a why buy this when you have can get that kind right. of thing because yeah. it still gives a similar look and tone yeah. without being exactly, egg, exactly the same color. Yeah. So I call it a do. Yeah, I say go for NYX, go for NYX Apricot. For sure, for sure. Lippy dupes. These are my favorite because we love lippies. And this one is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow and ColourPop times square times square is supposed to be a dupe. And I'm going to be doing different ones. I'm going to be doing, now this is kind of different because it's a different formula, but it is the MAC Velvet Teddy against the NYX Lingerie in Push Up. Zero 06. Now, this is matte and this is matte. So we're kind of like, I mean, it's still supposed to be the same finish. It's just a different delivery system. So let's put it on the hands and find out. How did anyone ever think this was a similar color? Are you gonna do left and right or top and bottom? Top and bottom. Okay. Testy. We're gonna do lower end on the lower lip and higher end on the higher lip. I mean, that makes sense, right? Yeah. This is real light. Okay. Next push up on the bottom. They're not terrible. Look. Yeah. They're not, they're not bad. I would also say mine are not bad. It's just a smidge of s <laughs> I ruined them. <laughs> You're trying not to put them together. <laughs> These just don't work with an open mouth. It doesn't, it's I, okay. I think it was dry. Yeah. Like honestly, as they set. You forget. You wouldn't, no, you wouldn't look at this and be like, you, you have, no. That's shocking. See, that's why I don't agree with the hand test. No, because when I put these on my hand, I think it has to do with also setting on your lips. Setting and then any color on your Because color pops takes a second to set and, and I feel like it, it changes color. It does. Because that, yeah. looks very similar. Yeah. Heck to the yes. Dupe, dupe, and dupe, double dupe. Yeah. Basically. If you have always wanted MAC Velvet Teddy, but you don't want to go for the like, I don't know, 16-ish dollar price tag or whatever, go for NYX Lingerie Push Up. I owned that one and I didn't even know it. Yeah. It makes me happy. Yeah, and, and sometimes can... it's easier to apply a lip gloss to get a good like line and stuff than a lipstick, but I love my MAC Velvet Teddy, so you can't go wrong with either one of them. Yay! Okay, so what did we discover? I mean, I think primer's pretty, pretty dupey. Yeah. Pretty dupey. Pretty much everything that we did, if it wasn't a dupe, it was 
like we like to say vibes where it just gives you a similar look but not the exact look yeah where you don't need the higher end but it's not exactly the same product that Remmel scandalized mascara that's like one of the best Remmel mascaras I've used in a I know. while we had not tried that one yet which is shocking yeah like but I'm I liking like I'm liking my left lashes better than my right lashes. I like both but I would buy this over the Too Faced because it's cheap yeah and that NYX apricot blush is really they're Pretty. both doing what they do. They're doing what they do. Jeez. So I'm not mad at anything. I think uh -uh. everything was close enough to a dupe to say you could get away with the lower end. So, yeah. 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 Okay, guys, we hope you enjoyed this. A dupe versus, I mean, we... <laughs> All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this dupe or don't. Yes, I think most of them were dupes. So I do too. thumbs up for that. Yeah, and, and don't forget to subscribe. Like we said, we do giveaways, and the only thing you have to do to be entered is be subscribed to our channel. Yes. Also, if you follow us on Instagram, like and comment our photos, that enters you for giveaways over there as well. Yes, and you can check below if you want to know any more information. Yeah. Don't forget to check out madisonandmallory.com. Do that, and we're gonna talk to you guys in a video very, very soon. We sure will. <laughs> Bye, guys. Gotta stay hydrated. Like maracas. Yeah, maracas. <laughs> <laughs>